Woo, $8 magnetic cube, I hope it's good. I feel like what we usually see from YJ is really good or really bad, so this will probably be one of those two. I'm overshooting a lot. All right, um, hang on. Yep, this is too tight. If you weren't aware, back in a video a long time ago, I was trying to take the center caps off the YJ Guanlong and I couldn't do it. Well, I could do it, but it was very hard. And I actually just cut my nails because I cube better with my nails cut. So this is actually very difficult. Quick tip for the screws that doesn't always work on every cube, but when you pull down for corner cutting, if this part right here stays together, it's likely too tight, not always. And if it pulls apart, then it's probably too loose. But essentially you're just going for good corner cutting, so I'll loosen these all a little bit. The cube feels a little bit loose now and it can barely make that cut. Uh, overall, it doesn't feel much better. I'm going to keep trying tensioning and get back to you guys. Um, overall, I managed to get it to corner cut, but it's too loose now, so I'm going to tighten it up again, and if that doesn't work out well, then this cube is just done. Okay, I can do algorithms on this, so that's a very good sign. Um, it doesn't feel good at all. I even brought out my YJ Guanlong, and I was about to say that they're very similar, but they're actually not. Okay, corner cutting now, not there. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be able to cut there, but everywhere else pretty much can. Although my first impression of it was that it had really, really bad corner cutting, and I don't know why YJ does this. So if people aren't decent with messing with the tensions and everything, then this just doesn't seem like a very good cube. But it's $8 for being magnetic, and it's I mean, it's not bad. I don't see anything amazing about it. I will do some time solves and see if my mind changes about this. It's okay, like it, it's usable is what I'm saying. And that's actually a big plus compared to what I thought this would be. All right, this cube is better than I thought it would be, but not good enough. So the Kylan V2M is $10, this one is $8. And if you really care about your $2, then yeah, go for this one. You can definitely get good times on it. Not that I can do my best on this, I can do really close to my best on the Kylan V2. And the cube is a bit too fast, which means the magnets, which are kind of medium, don't really help that much. I don't really feel them during the solves. Part of why it's really fast right now is because it's so loose. And if I made it any tighter, it would be bad at corner cutting. And yeah, so I just don't feel like there's gonna be settings on this that really work that well. Besides the really impressive price of $8, this cube is actually better than most of the cheap YJ cubes that I've seen besides like the MGC. So obviously I think it's impressive for being $8 since it is magnetic and maybe it's the best for $8. I personally prefer the Kylan V2 a lot and if I had to go with one cheaper than this then I'd pick the Little Magic because I like that one more than this. But I also understand that right now I'm probably biased against this because it just really doesn't seem to suit my turning style at all. And good for YJ for improving on their budget line but this one not good enough for me yet, but I do think they're heading in the right direction, especially with the price. So I hope to see more of this in the future.